Now, women's NBA star Renee Montgomery has decided to sit out the 2020 season to focus on social justice reform. It comes after weeks of protests over racial equality following the death of George Floyd last month. In a tweet, she said, there's work to be done off the court in so many areas in our community. Social justice reform isn't going to happen overnight, but I do feel that now is the time and moments equal momentum. Well, the Atlanta Dream player becomes the first WNBA player to publicly say she won't play since the league and union announced an agreement on a plan to start the season in Florida next month. And Montgomery told me that she is pleased with the response she's had uh, to her decision. I felt it in my heart, and it really was just a personal decision. Um, people have been asking me, well, what are you exactly going to do? I don't know yet, but I do know that I'm going to create some type of positive change. So that's, that's literally my heart. I just feel like my heart wasn't in it this year for, for basketball because my heart is elsewhere. Yeah, fair enough. And how much concern is there among your peers uh, about the fight for racial equality? What have other people been saying around you? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the response has been positive. Like, I, I'm shocked at how positive it was because when I pressed send this morning, I just didn't know how it was going to go, you know, because we've all seen the, the conversations leading up to this about there's been some chatter about some players sitting out before. So I was a little nervous, but now seeing the response, I'm here talking with you guys. So I feel like I, I made a good decision. I mean, I was going to feel like that anyway, but I'm happy that everybody received it well. And are you worried about the, any, any impact that this might have on your career from, from this decision to, to sit out? Or is, it, is the cause bigger for you? What would you say to that? I mean, I think it's, it's, it's bigger than basketball. So if there were implications to my career, I would have to just deal with it. But I don't think that's going to be a problem in a sense that uh, my head coach, the GM of my team today, this morning, released a statement showing their support for me, telling, saying how sad they're going to be that I'm not with the team, but how happy they are to see that I want to do something like this. So for me, that was the best case scenario because that's what I was most concerned about too, just leaving my teammates out to dry almost. Um, but everybody kind of just, they were like, I get it. You know, do your thing. I get it. So I told him I'm going to be cheering for him this, this season. But yeah, I'm going to have to sit this one out. Do you think that the WNBA and the NBA perhaps as well uh, could be doing anything more, Renee, for this? I, you know, I hope they do. The, all the leagues have basically put out statements showing their support of the movement, showing that they want to support the movement, that they want to be allies. The WNBA made shirts bigger than basketball. So I, I really do hope the leagues continue with that and, and, and follow that and keep doing different things. I think that in the bubbles, I know there will be a lot of things going on there. So I think the leagues will do it because I know they, that, that it's that important. The WNBA, NBA, 80% minority league. So the leagues have to stand up right now. Renee Montgomery there. That is all from us. Get the latest on the BBC Sport website. See you soon.